Okay, welcome back to the good, the bad, and the ugly show. And today we're here to talk about Galoon. That's right. So, um, you, you you've done the homework. I did the research, mate. I'm like Tom Cruise. I've done the research. Good, good. Uh, so... Yep. They're a company that started in the 1950s. Um, was uh, owned by a guy called Louis Galoob and his sons took over. They made quite a bit of money and then they lost quite a bit of money in the Black Friday of 87 and then Micro Machines saved their ass really basically, okay. didn't they? Yeah, like um, I think in 1989 Micro Machines were bringing in like 50% of their revenue. Yeah. So Micro Machines were just this thing in the 90s, in the late 80s, in the early 90s, and it just exploded, didn't it? it was, yeah, uh, really and there were even cool. even computer games as well. Yeah, the, um... they had a lawsuit with the, like Nintendo over the oh, Game right. Genie, and yeah. uh, they licensed that, and yeah. uh, Nintendo didn't like it, so... Oh, uh, okay, because <laughs> yeah, they... the games are good. You had like, you had a bathtub with a little boat in it. Yeah, had, yeah, like, yeah. The car driving across the tablecloths and stuff, from, yeah. what, from what I remember. Um, they were good games, yeah. and it surprises me that Micro Machines haven't made a comeback. They will, mate, they will. It they all will. comes around again, doesn't it, you mm. know? Because Lego, obviously really big, especially digitally Well, now, yeah, Lego, it? Lego, like, um, their saving grace was that they actually licensed films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. They, were, they were on their yeah. um, backside, and yeah. then all of a sudden they got the Star Wars license and the Harry Potter license and all of that, and they just... So there they might just be some... Back. Some comeback for Galoob at some point. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Although they're not Galoob anymore, they got bought out by the uh, demons of uh, toy manufacturer <laughs> <Okay>. Hasbro. <laughs> Don't sue us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Um, they, they certainly will. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess we'll begin then with um, well, what, what, what sort of toys did they have? Well, yeah, they they kind they did all right. You know, they made like. They made like Golden Girls and Punky Brewster dolls. If anybody they... remembers Punky Brewster out there, really. Um... <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, so they, they, didn't, they did that. No, they didn't like. Um, they were like you know Mattel and Kenner were like the big players. Yeah. And Galoo came in after, and like you know they hoovered up the licenses at Mattel and. Um, <laughs> they did the scraps. <laughs> that didn't yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They fed at the small table, mate. They, you know. They were the scraps. But yeah, I mean like. The table. Yeah, they like uh, did Galaxy Rangers. They yeah. Did um, uh, Defenders of the Earth. Defenders of the Earth. Yes, okay. that what, was. The figures. Yeah, the figures. Right, yeah. Okay. And. Uh, uh, some figures that we were going to talk about today, like the uh, yeah. WCW figures yeah. and the 18 figures. Okay, and things so like that. I guess what we'll do now is we will show off some of the Galoob stuff we have and try and do a little journey that way. We'll yeah. start with the older figures yeah. and then move on. So, to begin with, um, here's a man who needs no introduction. But well, we're going to give him one anyway. <laughs> if, if the figure looked anything like him, he wouldn't need an introduction. No. But as it stands, uh, you can just about tell who he is yep. by the head. Yeah. So obviously this is B.A. Baracus or Mr. T as he's also known. Yeah. But he seems to be wearing a kind of generic army G.I. Joe suit. He so does. he's missing all of his gold jewellery and his sort of punky get up that he had. He did. And like, yes, this is the A-Team. This yeah. is, um, uh, A-Team was a big, big hit in the 80s. Massive hit. Um, so Galoob got the license to release um, three and three quarter figures and the six inch figures as well. But yes. interestingly, there was a big BA. Yeah. And I don't think that was Galoob who did that. No, because there, there, were, there were two lots of big figures. So there, there were ones that were about eight inches. Yeah. And they were all made out of plastic. Yeah, Galoob did them. And then there were ones that are bigger and they had yeah. like, clothes you could take on and off, like the yeah. old doll kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, they had earrings earring in the big chain. Yeah, and, and like they that, weren't yeah. glued. There was no, something else. No, there was so, else. Uh, so, so they, they, they were um, licensing themselves out to quite a few different <laughs> toy much, makers. Yeah. They? they were getting around a bit. Yeah, they were whoring themselves out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know yeah. what to say. It, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so these guys. Sadly, I don't have any other ones because um, or any of the actual eighteen themselves because they're kind of hard to come by now. Yeah, and the thing people want too much money for them. Yeah, so, and the thing and he is, seems to have spinal problems. He can't <laughs> yeah, stand up straight. He's, it's old age, mate. Um, eventually, I guess the little band holding his legs on does snap. They do. Yeah, that's they, how they were made in them days, they're wasn't really it? Old now. I mean, this is yeah. like what? Is this 83, 84, 84, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't quite make out. I can't read his bum, so I can't quite make yeah. out <laughs> um, what year it is. Uh, my eyes are too old to see such small things. But there you go. Yeah, also with these, they come as a four pack, didn't they? So you've yeah, got like, the four goodies. And they were like quite well art articulated for the yeah, time. Yeah, they're pretty well done. And they, you got four baddies as well. Yes. And they weren't so well Shoot, articulated. Yeah, yeah. So we have 
This guy, who this looks guy, like Lon Chaney Jr. as a wolf man, doesn't he? He does a bit. Can I get, um, can I get him zoomed in? Hang yeah. on a second, just, let's, let's do this. Let's try and zoom in on his face. No, the camera does not want to zoom in. It's like it doesn't recognise it as a human being. Yeah. Um, but he looks like a, um, well, I hate to say it, he looks like a tramp, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. A hobo. <laughs> um, I guess that's kind of what he's supposed to be, yeah. I suppose. I don't know. And they had um, like names like Snake and... Things like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he's not got the um, he's not got the band or the, or the articulation, the legs yeah. or any of that stuff. So I guess he will probably last a lot longer yeah. than Mr. T will. And you wouldn't think they were and from the same line, would you? You know, it's terrifying. Yeah. If you could just about make out on this that um, he's actually covered in mud, mud that I can't quite get out of all his nooks and crannies because. Yeah. I think this guy was dug up from my dad's back garden <laughs> after being there for a long time, since the 80s, so yeah. probably. Um, a lot of these figures met with um, got bad ends. Bad ends, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have, um, if I just have a look a second, I also have the, uh... oh, I have to pause a sec. That's what I <laughs> okay, so here is something horrific. Yeah, that um, is. If I can make this focus somehow. Is that Murdoch? I'll touch the screen and make, you, make him focus in. He's not going to do it, is he? Yeah, this is the face. Sorry, I'm having no focusing problems today. This is the face of the head of Murdoch. The front of his cap's missing. His eyes are all painted up black. Um, I think this guy might be made into a zombie yeah. at some point. Something hor hideous happened to him. He kind of looks... But there you go. So if you, if you, if you put him on, on this body and imagine um, a different colour, then there's, there's another 18 figure. Yeah, there is. And yeah. Because um, they all had these generic yeah. um, G.I. Joe bodies, yeah. didn't they? Hannibal, Hannibal was in blue. Basically, face was in black. They went to the trouble of creating the heads and that's it. Yeah. And the bodies were just someone just a, else's. I think they? it yeah. was to just fit in with G.I. Joe as well, you know? Like, yeah. Because people used to swap their figures around and stuff like that. That makes total sense. And also with these, um, you used to be able to get him with like, um, like BA Ken with his van, which was yeah, a yeah, childhood yeah. favourite uh, memory of, uh, like vehicle of mine. Uh, Face Ken with his Corvette, Hannibal with his boat and Murdoch with his plane. Yeah. And um, the six inch ones, like I think like the face, because there was a different actor who played Face in the pilot. That's right, and yeah, yeah. the figure actually looked more like the pilot face uh, maybe than he did Dirk Benedict. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, he had the black jacket and stuff like so that. So he made that and he thought, isn't yeah, it changing? Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, no, and then Dirk Benedict come yeah. in um, and made face his own and stuff like that. So, yeah, I yeah. liked him. Oh, yeah, I loved one, it. One of my favourite characters yeah, me too. from the A-Team, I think. He was great at Star yeah. back in uh, Battlestar Galactica as well. Yeah, because so, yeah. obviously the A-Team was a funny series. For people who don't remember it, um, basically, they, it was four middle-aged men going around uh, helping people. Helping people. Yeah, they'd usually get trapped in some kind of shed. Yeah, and, yeah. And while they were in the shed, they would make some kind of amazing gadget, which they would come out and save yeah. the day with. Also, people got shot a lot and, yeah. and never bled. No, or, exactly. Or got killed. Yeah. No yeah. one got killed in them days. It was like yeah. <laughs> a cup of tea has just appeared on the side of the screen. Um, Sorry. Yeah. But that's that's tea fine. Break. That's fine. continuity for you. Yeah. Tea break. That's what we need. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, next, well, actually, we missed one out. So, um, just before the uh, 18 figures, yeah. um, they made Black Star toys. Yeah, Black Star was a cartoon made by Filmation. Now, we erroneously thought it was like um, made on the back of Masters of the Universe. Yeah, I literally thought that Black Star was a knockoff uh, He Man yeah. thing. Yeah, but it turns out that they did it a few months before. And it was 81 yeah. was a cartoon, wasn't it? Yeah. And that was a few years before. Um, 82 he was He Man? Was it 82? 82 was. No, these were the figures, weren't they? Oh, the figures game. The cartoon, I think, was 84. Yeah, okay. Yeah. From what I remember, I okay. don't know. I might be wrong. I might yeah. be wrong on that one. We'll but, check um, the dates later. Yeah. Now, I wish I had some Black Star figures yep. to I, put in this video, but I don't because I haven't bitten the bullet and, and bought any no. yet because they're quite expensive. Black Star was quite an oddity. I had one figure, and that was John Black Star. Yeah. And he had a sort of amulet. He was a barbarian, basically. He was. He was a prototype He Man. He was, I mean, Conan yeah. the Barbarian yeah. was big at the time, wasn't it? You was know? the weird dragon thing that had yeah. sparks? Yeah. That was Black Star, yeah. wasn't it? That's I had, I had exactly that as a that. kid, and yes. I had a few others as well. One and that looked a bit like Mumwa as and well. And he's like sparked him up, he had like a sort of mechanism on the back where That's you run your thumb over it, and his amulet or his necklace That's lit right. up and made a sound. Yeah. Um, really take cool. the amulet up and turn it into a lighter. Yeah, yeah. and um, also I think the cartoon had like a sort of the two halves of the power sword. Yeah. A la, like, sort of He-Man in the comics. Was it um connected to Brave Star? It, is that a cowboy yes, thing, because similar? because people thought that, like, 
the um, ethnicity of Blackstar, people thought it was a Native American. Oh, and he was an okay. astronaut, that yeah. sort of, you know, the classic Buck Rogers yeah, stuff. Sense. Like he went out into space and he landed on this planet. And yeah, that sort of um, opened the door for Braidstar, who was like a Native yeah. American cowboy. Um, uh, a few years later, and that was made by Filmation as well. So, uh, an interesting cartoon. It only ran for about, what, 13 episodes? 13 it? episodes, yeah, um, 1981. And the figures were from 1984, so I guess they just kept repeating the yeah, cartoon. I yeah, don't know, that's how it yeah, works a lot of the time. That, yeah, it was in syndication, syndication. over in yeah. the States, yeah. Um, very, uh, an oddity, yeah. but well worth a look for anybody who's interested in, like, sort of uh, vintage figures. Yeah. They look at, I mean, they're so similar, I guess, to the Thundercats that were made by... Pretty um, much. JB... A LJM. LJM. And, yeah, like we, we all know about them, don't we? <laughs> you watch the Angry Video Game Nerds and yeah. his love for his, LJM. His, his love for LJM, um, yeah. Film games, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, a, that's a different video for a different time, though, exactly. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so we'll move on now to their, to where their money was, the, yeah. um, the biggest deal of Galoob, which were... Micro we Machines. Focus here. Micro yeah. machines, so they were actually very well, like very well put together. Could also use them for Monopoly, of... couldn't you? Yeah, you could. They have a lot of detail though, like um, the little little lights on them and the little kind of um, detail. detail. Well, yeah, and the boat. The boat was cool. The boat's quite. The boat featured in the games, I think, from what I remember. It's, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a cool thing. Absolutely, I think what, speedboat. I think when uh, they were coming out. Um, I was like obviously getting older and losing interest in toys and stuff like that. Yeah, but I always remember the Mega Drive game. Yeah, that was a yeah. that just absolutely exploded. That was like um, you know it was on everybody's um, wish list for Christmas and stuff like that. It was it's just yeah. So it was more your line, wasn't it? You know? Yeah. Well, um, I'm going the walk. Go on the walk. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, a little bit before my time, really, because I was, I was, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm really young. I was born in 1985, so that makes me like a, a child still. Pretty much. So, um, yeah, these were like 1986, yeah. certainly 86, 87. So these would have been when I was like a toddler, really. Yeah. I mean, my brother and sister had them, so that's how I got them in my life, you know. And it was a craze, wasn't it? You know, it was it's a like, craze. Like, so, there's um, been several crazes over the years, you know, with boglins and things like that. You had these little sets that came out. Which we'll uh, have a little look into now. I'll just chuck all that on the table. So they fold into like little things like that, and then you had like little like a little fish and chip shop or whatever, and um, little things that go on there. Yeah, they're very nice. They like they well put together little sets, um, and they clip together as well. And you can make a big platform out of it all. Um, I've got a hold of some of these, which really are not micro machines, and you can tell the difference in uh, quality and yes. detail. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you look at this car here, which looks beautiful, if the camera will focus, and then you look at this car, which really doesn't look like much. But I bought It looks like what you get from a Kinder Surprise Egg, doesn't it? It you know? does. I bought these, and they said genuine micro machines. Uh, <laughs> the, the place I bought them from. So you believe that, not. yeah. <laughs> they're not, but they were really cheap. And I, I give these to my daughter to play with the micro machine city with, so, you know, she can have more fun with that. I think the planes might be genuine. But I really... Yeah, that's a black bird, isn't it? Yeah, I really don't know. But anyway, that brings us on to the um, the big deal here. Yes. If I clear all these micro machines out of the way, what I need now is um, Joe Pesci and uh, Daniel Stern. Is it Daniel Stern? Yeah. To come and break into my house. They can leave these all over the floor and then they can trip up in hilarious yeah. ways. <laughs> you can film about that, can you? Yeah. Um, oh, Joe Pesci's always coming around. Um, so here it is. The Micro Machine Super City was later called the Toolbox because it's in the shape of a toolbox. But this earlier version is called the Super City. Um, this is like the second version to come out, I think, because it originally came out, I believe, in 1986. This mm -hmm. is the 1988 edition. Yeah. Um, the back differs massively to the actual thing itself. That there's a weird prototype. It, there's even a police station on the back, which isn't in the city no, at all. No, but this is super cool. But that's what they do. Like so, you have like a sort of there's a sort of airport as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll it's really cool. We'll open it up and we'll have a look. So here we go. Let's take it out of the box. Box here, so you can still see it. And here it is. It's a toolbox, yeah. as you see. Must be a bit of music to go. With yeah. It. Um, so yeah, it's got like. It comes with its own jingle, mate. It comes with its own jingle. <laughs> so it has um, a little lock on it. So you turn that one around, and then you can open it up. I'm amazed that the lock is still here because we didn't even have that when I was a kid. We yeah. lost the lock a long time ago. So here we go. So let's open him up and have a look inside. So, um, yeah, why don't you hold these two yeah. for me? That would be amazing. And then we open that up. Um, we're not really getting the best best view of it, I guess, but here we go. Um, so I'll take some of the buildings out. 
the little buildings clip on. Um, here you go. You've got little little uh, things to open up. So little garage doors. Yeah. And you got people inside thing. the house. They'll go on to like the sides of the bit of the city here. There's all kinds of things. Um, there's an airport. The airport clips onto the side. That it has that. like a little airport building that goes on there, which is um, this little terminal and all that. So, um, and then the, the best bit is like, it's obviously like based on something like San Francisco yeah. or one of those kind of places because you've got the um, the big orange bridge. bridge yeah. Might be a Star Trek Four. Yes, yeah. <laughs> So you like a Klingon bird of prey down there somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a big, big like toilet, toilet tube painted yeah. black to cover the golf ball <laughs> to come on the top and suck all the water out this yeah. out of the river. But there we go. There is like it's amazing. There's like a there's a there's a road there that comes from the bridge and it goes underneath a little tunnel. Is there like, me like a mechanism that that should go now? It's a mechanism here. Yeah. It opens a little bridge. Up, oh wow! See. It's and there's little garages in here yes. and there's there's all kinds of things. Down to like, there's a little motorbike shack as well. There's all this advertising. There's even an advertisement for Galoob toys. Yeah. Which is also a really cool little like thing to stick in there. And loads of like fake foods and stuff. Um, there was a petrol pump here. I don't have that sadly. There's like about two or three things missing from this, but I bought it with the original box for about 15 to 20 quid. And that also came with these other sets and a lot of other little bits and bobs like the little- um, Houses? fish and chip That's very shop, good. little benches outside and all that stuff. Um, it's amazing, I mean it really is, there's so much to it. I mean look at this, imagine being a kid at Christmas and opening this up and just going for it. Hours of fun. Just what we had actually, one of yeah. my brother, my brother or my sister, I can't remember which one, um, they'll probably tell me, tell me in the comments, because they watch all my videos, yeah, yeah. it's their family, they have to. Yeah, they have to. Um, but yeah, um, so basically one of them got these for, got this for Christmas and I remember like, I remember being very, very young, maybe sort of four or five years old, I don't know, but I remember playing with this and having lots of fun with it and they used to get other sets like, there's a little box that opens into like a sort of garage, like a service station garage and there was, there was all kinds of stuff. It was amazing. It is. So um, what we'll do next is I'll put all this back in its box and then we'll talk about some of the further stuff some of the other stuff that came from Micro Machines. So they went on to do loads and loads of other lines, basically to keep themselves afloat. Yeah. They took on loads of major like movie franchise stuff and um, did that. But um, we'll do a quick jump cut, because uh, it's just getting crazy. <laughs> We're just noticing that um, as well as Galoob, it says uh, Rainbow Toys as well, which must be something else. Yeah, right? some sort of distributor. Maybe that's the British. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this is the yeah, like Star British Wars. Version. Yeah, like Star Wars did uh, Palatoy. Ah, it also says down here, made in China for Lewis Galoob Toys, INC, South San Francisco. So yep. it is supposed to be San Francisco, with the um, the Golden yeah. Bridge, which makes a hell of a lot of sense when you think about it. The Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge, that's right. So um, next we're going to talk about the, the rest of the Micro Machine line. So um, what happened next? Um, they made... Yeah, they, they basically did what Lego did. You know, yeah. They um, got the licenses for Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, what Star, Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, yeah. Star Trek. Star Trek. I had yeah. the Star Trek ones years ago, the Enterprise and the yeah. Bring on Bird of Prey and all that. And Aliens as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from, I wasn't too big on the little figures they did, the tiny little figures. No, they, they were, yeah. But the uh, ships were all good. The Star yeah. Trek ships were amazing. Yeah. They looked really good. Um, yeah. They were all made out of a sort of rubbery kind of plastic. So you could battle them up. You could you could, you could um, take bits off. Yeah, they them took a good beating, didn't they? Made, they? made yeah. them look like they're they're being like yeah. exploded or something. But I think they made the alien, the actual alien alien, didn't they? Yeah, and, um, yeah, yeah. I'd like to get hold of that. Yeah, that's kind of kind of cool. And the uh, dropship and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, good stuff. So they went on. Um, when when did Micro Machines end? Then it must have gone right up until the early 2000s. Yeah, I think sure. so. I think like. When I like when I first heard of them, it was like during like the sort of Mega Drive era when like the yeah. early nineties when like the computer game came out, and like everybody and their uncle had, you know, some yeah. sort of micro machines. Yeah. But I'm guessing they sort of sort of like every other fan, it just phases out, doesn't yeah, it? Over it's time. Out, yeah, it's out. Yeah. So I would think this. Um, I would for. I mean, I love the design. Like, you know, you have like um, uh, Hot Wheels and, and stuff like that that are still big as ever. Yeah. I would have thought this would never fade away. I thought micro no. machines would be a thing that would stick around. For me, it seems like it's yeah. an obvious toy line to still be also, big. But. I also think because, like, you know, like the three and three quarter inch figures were designed so kids could put in their pocket, yeah. take them to their friends and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, same with micro machines, you know, just stick yeah. them in your pocket, take them around your mate's house and uh, 
playing the dart and stuff like that. I even had, I'll try and find a picture to put on the screen, but I even had one that was a normal size, like a matchbox car, but a plastic one. You open it up and there's a micro machine inside. Really? It. Then you open that up and there's a tiny car in the middle. Okay. So like a Russian doll. So like a Russian doll, yeah. Yeah, 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 he did that as well. So um, that was a weird, a weird thing as well. And there were lots of other ones. I'll try and find different ways. Did they ever do well. superheroes? I'm not sure about that. I I'd that. imagine. We'll Google that. Yeah. Then the superhero car stuff is kind of silly, isn't it? Yeah. Like, see, like the little toys you could get a Spider-Man in his car. In his car, yeah. Superman in Superman in his, in his car. Yeah. This thing yeah. never had yeah. Yeah. at any point. It's um, like um, like uh, his convertible, mate, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider-Man cruising on the yeah. road. Okay, so <laughs> next we will move on to Star Trek, I guess. That's a big deal for Gloob. Yep. That was. Right, so in 1988, 1988, yes, yep. they got the license to make Star Trek The Next Generation figures. They did, they did. And um, these are not like highly regarded, people don't really like them, to be honest. No, with Star me. Trek's a weird one. Star yeah. Trek is an amazing franchise with a big, big fan base, but the toys never really took off. I mean, Playmates uh, were the best at it. Yeah. They um, took it to the real extreme, um, but other companies have just, they've made a few figures and then they gave up basically, didn't they? You know, they so. did, they did. So we have, um, we have some here, we have a bit of a collection built up of these actually. So we'll begin with, um, this was very kindly donated to me by, uh, by you. By me. That's right. So here is um, Captain, Captain Picard. Picard. Yep. So um, yeah, I'm not sure where he's coming out, but he holds his phaser out. They had like built-in phasers in their hands, which you can't take on and off. But they, they had like the, the tricord things you can. Tricorder, yeah, that like you put around the. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, the legs bend. Show that. Yep. The, the action, and also these, the obviously they're the early ones. They have the little red line, the uniform, and yep. all that. These, so, um, yep. These three. Um, Really Loose cool. ones were uh, my childhood figures. Yeah, we have uh, Geordie LaForge. Yep. And um, yeah, you can't take his visor off. No, nope, before he become chief engineer. Yeah, that's so. right. Yeah, still got the red red top on. But on the Playmates one, you could take his visor but off. But you weren't supposed to. They were, they no. were glued on, weren't yeah. they? But when but you take them you off, take it off, still yeah. got the white eyes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That always confused the hell out of me, to yeah. be honest. But um, yeah, it's Geordie LaForge. I always thought Geordie LaForge should have had a Geordie accent like yep. Scotty did in yep. the original Star Trek, but they missed a trick there. <laughs> Where are you, man? <laughs> to that clean up bastard to fuck off and all. Um, <laughs> right, here we go. Here is um, Worf. Yep. Mr. Worf. With his, um, his funny wrinkled head. Yep. Um, original uniform again, short hair, the gold thing yeah, in the, the, the red top, yep. all that. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty yep. good figure. I always wanted this, actually. This and Riker I always wanted because Obviously, the Playmates didn't ever make those exactly like they were. Yes, the, uh, can we talk like series? So here is a uh, Riker. Yep. Speak of the devil, a beardless Riker. Yeah, the there we go. Uh, season one Riker. Yep, that's boxed as well, still unopened. Yeah. Here's the back of it, telling you the other ones you can get. So the other characters you can get, you can get all the original guys, including um, Tasha Yar, and um, you can get Q and uh, Ferengi and a few other aliens and the Enterprise itself. Yes. Um, some of these are harder to find than others. I have also have uh, data here as well. Data box is a bit beaten up. Now there were three different versions of data that came out. This one is the pale faced um, actual screen accurate version. But there was also one that had um, normal like human skin, yeah. which looked weird. And there was another one that had like a grey speckled, That's right. weird skin. I, I don't think, know why they I did think that. Because when they um, tested Brent Spiner, um, they tested him with different coloured skins. Oh, okay. So yeah. he, he did, like, in the show, he looks kind of yellowy yeah. type of thing. But they did uh, try him with, like, a grey appearance. That and makes just sense. a normal appearance. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's... So they're, like, test ones. So I imagine those other ones are probably harder to get, yeah. aren't they? Probably more rarer. Here's Wolf again, looking very good condition here. Um, yeah, I love that. that. That was the first one I got out of these was Wolf because I thought he looked cool, like, on the shelf. Yeah. And Men then I menacing. just started getting... So I bought Wolf, and, and then Tim very kindly gave me these three. So I'm like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm building a collection up here. And then I found a bundle on, online for, like, 20 quid or something, which had, like, a load of random, like, like sort of, uh, Amigo and stuff, weird toys. And they had both of these involved. So I put in a bid, and, um, yeah, I won them. So now I have a collection of Star Trek Galoob yeah. figures. And um, if anybody, yeah. if anybody's out there that remembers catalogue shopping as well, that's how yeah. I picked up my three. 
um, I think it was Janet Fraser or Little Woods that we got it from, you know, where you order it from a catalogue and pay one pound fifty a week. Yeah. And I got the Diecast Enterprise as well, which also um, Saucer separates. Oh yeah, like in the like in the in show, show, yeah. And there it is on the back of there. There you go. Um, there's a big Playmates one released as well, like yes. years later, which um, um, the had Playmates, noises and stuff. Yeah, the Playmates had the bridge in the uh, shuttlecraft. Yeah, everything. they had all that stuff. So there we go. So that's the next generation. Um, if you can find any of the other figures I haven't got, then they're the rare ones, really hard ones to find. These can go from anything from like kind of 10 to about, I don't know, 100 quid, I guess. Yeah. The yeah. Q figure is worth about £100. Also, um, I'm not sure how, how big a release these got in England because I never see them on like, basically these, if you find them on eBay, they're usually from America and that makes them really expensive because you have all the tax you've got to pay. I don't see a lot of these in England, in, in, no. in like, um, you know, vintage toy shops or that kind of no. thing. It's just not like... They were rare. Guess, it wasn't really that popular, was it, um, The Next Generation, when it started out? No, The Next Generation took a, a few good years to um, yeah. sort of build so in popularity. Like, by 93, 94, it was big, and that's when Playmates got hold of yeah. it. Yeah. So they must have had a look at these figures and thought, oh, I'm, not, I'm not having that. Yeah. We need some better ones. Yeah. Yeah, because um, as I say, I like them personally, but they're not they're not quite in the same quality. And also, people have gone have gone. Apparently, people had grown tired of the tiny little figures by this point, and the bigger ones were coming out. So you had Terminator, which were like um a, a couple of inches bigger than these. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So um yeah, kids wanted those. So um the Playmates ones really fit in well with the new sort of demographic. So these figures were out. They're out. The Playmates are in. But I used to see these in an in an Exeter shop called um. Called the next shop called Destiny One. Um, he was a rival to my dad's shop because he, uh, my dad, had a shop called the Inner Sanctum, and um, yeah, then the other toy dealer down the road was Destiny really? One. So there was always a bit of like, yeah, ooh, you know, who yeah. and are in there. Um, but yeah, he had these on, on his uh, wall. I remember looking at them thinking, I want those. Yeah, they would go really well with your Star Wars figures. Yeah. you know, gotta fit in with that. So was it like that Anchorman scene when, like, you know, they all got? Oh yeah, 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 no, no, yeah. No, toy dealers are vicious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're vicious yeah. And, and they battle with yeah. the meats. You yeah, know? Like, they battle yeah. out for the toys. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not even it's actually almost true this. Um, so next, we'll move these aside because um, just before they lost the license to the, <laughs> to the big Star Trek figures, they brought out these abominations. I say abomination. Yeah. These wonderful toys. Cybok from the so, Star Trek yeah. Five: The Final Frontier. This is Spock's Cy brother. Spock's oh, spoilers! For spoilers. Here yeah. <laughs> so it says limited edition Star Trek Five, nineteen eighty nine. There's a reason why it was. There's a reason why it was a limited it edition. <laughs> it says Cybok, mysterious rebel leader of Nimbus Three. Yeah. So um, they're not giving the game away here. On the back, you've got the next generation figures again, or different yeah. ones you can get, but only pictures of the people, not the figures. That yeah. tells you something, yeah. doesn't it? And the figures themselves, actually the figures from the film on the back, so have a look. You can also get like Bones and you can get uh, the Klingon as well and Kirk and Mr. Spock. Or, Mr. Yeah. Spock and all the ones that you want. Probably the ones you want, not Spock's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I figured... Is that film, what you asked for Christmas? Like, the yeah. film was so ridiculous that I figured like the only one worth getting is the ridiculous Cybok character who is Spock's brother who's never mentioned again in any Star Trek ever. He comes with a stand as well, a nice stand, yep. says Star Trek 5. And a nice little diorama little of Paradise... Diorama. Um, Paradise City, that's yeah. right, where the girls are green and the grass is pretty. Exactly. That's where they went yep. to, um, and that's where all the trouble started. And you have this amazing backdrop of Paradise City where someone's written lost, graffiti lost over it. Yeah. Which you would, wouldn't you? That's the irony of uh, Paradise City. It's an amazing irony, and yeah. that's a backdrop you can put in behind this, but because there's wires attaching him to the stand, I'm not going to like destroy it, because, I mean, no. you, know, you never know when you're going to find another one of these, do you? Um, isn't he wonderful? Yeah. Look at his boots. So, um, yeah, so they made love of these. So here we go. Uh, again, again with the whole ridiculousness of the Star Trek films. Uh, motion picture, um, they, mo they made loads of toys because they thought it would do really well. So and, they it made figures, yeah. and it flopped. So they didn't make any for the Wrath of Khan, then that did really well. well yeah. So they made some for Search for Spock, then that, that did flopped. poorly, yeah. So, it, so every, <laughs> bad, every bad Star Trek movie has figures. <laughs> yes. All the good ones don't. don't. Yeah. And that's how it works. Yeah. And so Star Trek V, I don't know if you've seen it, but um, I mean, it's a thing to behold. That's right? why they get paid the big bucks, mate, isn't it? Yeah? That's why they get paid the big bucks. So they made these, and these are the last time, um, I think, I think this is the last time they ever made Star Trek figures just for like... Um, no, I'm getting that wrong, aren't I? Yeah, I think these were the last toys. I think after this, and after the Playmates stuff, I think it became like a sort of... 
No, I don't know. I don't know. I know Playmates had the rights to the movies as well, the next gen movies. Yeah. They basically yeah. had the rights to everything. But these were toys for collectors. These yeah. aren't these aren't well guess what I'm trying to say is these aren't toys to just play with um, for kids. This is like a dog toy, it's kind of like it doesn't do anything. No. It's just a solid lump of plastic. Yeah. Give it to Rex, see yeah, 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 you know, yeah. yeah. You see Spock's brother in your dog's mouth. Yeah, kind of yeah. like a quite funny thing to see anyway. But um <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot more to say about these really. But we but we I've I thought he looked a bit like non from uh, Star, uh Superman two. He does, you know, he does. They'd the, be uh, very kind to him. Yeah. He's not as grey as no. he is in the film. And also he looks a bit like John Reese Davis as well. He does a bit. Yeah. So um so what next? Next is uh WCW wrestling figures. That's and right. This is a this is a good story for us, isn't it? Like uh, when we were talking at work once about the uh, wrestling, yeah. And uh, I mentioned that I liked my WWE back in the day, and he goes, "Oh, you a snob, Ben?" Like, yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only in the sense of like, so yeah. WWF was on like Sky Television, um, yeah. and WCW was on Channel Four, and that was spot on. So yeah, you, yeah. You could watch WCW, but you couldn't watch WWF. No, you had like. You know, unless you had some more money, you had enough money to have cable TV yeah. or satellite TV, which I didn't as a kid. We had four channels, and yeah. you like it. And that was it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I we did have videos. Yeah, so. I did have Sky, yeah. and uh, yeah, so I felt quite the uh, the dogs um, proverbials. The yeah. dogs proverbials. Yeah. So who should we start with? Let's let's go with this. So before we do this, let us state that is it, what are they called again, the company Galoob. No, the other company. Oh, LJN. LJN. Our favourite company. Yeah, LJN did wrestling figures that were uh, great big um, figures that didn't move very much. Yeah. Now, when was that? Was that late 80s? Yeah, or I think mid so. 80s? Yeah. Yeah. So yes. They were the first ones. They were, think. yes, they were. They did yeah. like superstars or something like that. That's cool. right. They had like Andre Giant and Hulk Hogan yeah. and people. They didn't look very good, but they were they, they were kind of big, um, big lumps of plastic, really. Um, no yeah. articulation. Um, you could just make them wrestle and stuff. And we could talk about thumb wrestlers as well. Thumb wrestlers as well, yeah. That's where like it was Hulk Hogan and Junkyard Dog. Where were they 80s as well? They were, and they yeah. had like a hole in the back. Oh no, I remember those. And you shoved your thumb up in yes. it. Yes. And you played thumb I wrestling. I do remember those. Yeah. So Galoob decided to get on the uh, the wrestling wagon yeah. with WCW in 1990 and created these. Now, the, the camera likes him a bit more. The camera always did like Sting, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Um, so here we go. So he looks good, actually. Yeah, this um, is Surfer Sting, isn't it? It's quite a well-made figure, really. Yeah. Um, the muscles look good, the, the face and all that stuff. I mean, it's all good proportion. Yeah. Detail's quite good as well. Only problem is, no articulation. No moving, no but moving. I guess the idea with that is he can grab his opponents and they can do things like headlock, so, you know, there's a scene for you. Yeah. Right? And then, like, you know, you can do things like you can hold him. With his crotch in his face, so yeah. He's, he's doing that, he's, yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. So, you can make them wrestle, you can make yeah. them kind of wrestle, but you can't make them move. And, and some of them are like assless chaps as well. Yeah, pretty much. That happened, the paint comes away in the most ridiculous place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's almost like they did it So, who is this guy then? I have no clue. <laughs> tell, us, tell us in the comments. Yeah. Um, I was please. told this. Yeah. Um, so it, looks it, like it, it looks like Tito Santana, but yeah. it's not because so it's... So Billy, if yeah. you're watching, let us know. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he did tell me, and a few other people told me before who they are, but I keep forgetting. Yeah. All I remember is this is Sting, because yeah. I liked Sting when I was a kid, because I had the video of Sting versus the Black Scorpion, yeah. but he unmasks the uh, Black Scorpion. Clash of the Titans, mate. Clash of the Titans. So we've got him, we've got this guy here. I mean, he's like, one of, one of those Lex... Lex, Lex, Sexy Lexi? Sexy yeah. Lexi. No, that's Ric Flair, um, isn't it? This has to be Ric Flair. Yeah. It's a bit like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't go there. Talk about him yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, he does a bit, doesn't he? He, he does, good. yeah. Um, he was kind of like, he was kind of flamboyant, and they haven't made him very flamboyant in this figure. They just put him no. in his wrestling gear. He had a good booth on hair yeah. as well, didn't he? Didn't he used to have, like, he'd wear, like, big fur stuff. Yeah, the robes and, and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just like someone else, I, I, I won't mention again. Yeah, exactly, um, yeah. But yeah, here he is. So we've got him as well. And um, uh, one of these, okay. That's so Lex Luthor. That's Lex. Lex. I was going to say Lex Luthor. That's Lex Luthor <laughs> yeah. from Superman. Super, yeah. yeah Lex Luger. Luger. Yeah. Definitely where he got his name from anyway, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Lex Luger, Lex, yeah. Lex Luger. So yeah, there still is a WCW, whereas WWF has now become WWE, is that yeah. right? Yeah, because they had a lawsuit with the World Wildlife yeah. Fund, wasn't it? 
And we'll mention that at one point, Sting did come over to WWF. He became like, he looked like the crow. With yeah. That whole like sort of goth thing going on. Yeah. And Hulk Hogan dressed up in black and went to WCW. So they were able to change yeah, exactly. the, the, yeah. the yeah. politics and things that went down. So both companies, you know, were, were fairly big. Mm -hmm. And they're both obviously rivals. Um, I've just realised this is, um, I believe, I'll get points, brownie points for this, but I think this is Scott Steiner, actually. Because you had Rick Steiner. I had the Scott yeah, Steiner. I had the Steiner brothers. Yeah. I think this is Scott Steiner. I, I don't know. Tell me in the comments yeah, if that... I'm wrong, but I believe it is. But let's do like a um, let's do a Royal Rumble. So we're gonna have him like locking heads with Sting, locking horns with locking Sting. Horns. This guy's gonna jump on and try and get them like that. Make sure it's not and then we'll <laughs> shove that on there, and there we go. Look. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Uh, who needs articulation yeah, exactly. when yeah. you can do things it's like in, this? Yeah, it's the imagination, mate, isn't it? You know? Amazing scene. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about the, uh, was it Playmates, wasn't it? The, the no, was it Hasbro? Hasbro who, did the who WWF. Did the WWF one. Hasbro. Hasbro. Yeah. And um, some of them were ridiculous because it had things where you push the head down. Yeah, they, ha they had action gimmicks, basically. Lots yeah. of gimmicks, lots of fists that would like, yeah, fly Jake, back. Yeah, Jake the Snake had his, like, he uh, did, power fist. He did. Doesn't he? So um, they're ridiculous in, another, in the opposite way. Too much articulation. It was very sexual. It was very sexual. It was very sexual. <laughs> yeah, it? it was, yeah. I had the wrestling ring for this as well. I had a little bell. You, you did, With yeah. a hammer and stuff. And that was pretty cool. But I mean, I think these are great figures, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what more yeah, can you yeah, say? What more can you, more can you say? Yeah. I guess that, that's, that's Galoob wrestlers. So they are what they are. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. No, no. So next... What, where do we go from here? We'll move on to... You had a few honourable mentions. I did have a few honourable mentions. We mentioned it earlier with the Defenders of the Earth and Galaxy Rangers. Yeah. Um, they weren't... Like, Galaxy Rangers wasn't really popular. No? Uh, not in the States. I uh, don't remember what they looked like. They looked... They, they were basically space lawmen. Oh, okay. okay. And um, they... I don't think they were even released in the States. I think, like, they were bigger over here. Yeah. Um, but they released like a few of the uh, a few of the uh, lead characters, and then that was it. And then they faded. And then Defenders of the Earth was a Defe Sorry, yeah. Defenders of the <laughs> Earth was a cartoon with Flash Gordon. Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember Phantom. that very well. I remember the cartoon very well. Yeah. I don't remember the figures. No, though. the figures were okay. Yeah, uh, Flash Gordon had a massive great spaceship that turned into like a sword. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, it's cool. pretty cool. Sounds pretty good. So, splicey here. Splicey for pictures. Here. Yeah, 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 definitely will do. So, next we'll move on. Alright, oh, that did. That <laughs> well, we'll just hold now, we'll just make them fight for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, you can't do it, you can't do it. That's the noise they make. Well, I've almost heard a swear word then. You never know. You never know what you're going to hear, do you? Yeah. Um, but um, it's not made for kids. Just no, for, yeah. It's made yeah. for 40-year-old kids. Exactly. That's right. And we're allowed to swear and yeah. stuff. It's all good. Um, so next we'll move on to um, what's something I forgot about. And all I have is this remaining. It looks like Jeremy Beetle, doesn't he? Yeah. Remember him? I do. Beetle, Jeremy I Beetle's about. So this was a mask that went on to a great big like fat fish man and he was part of the Biker Mice from Mars yes, series. Was. So he was the baddie I believe. I never watched the cartoon. No me neither. But mates of mine had the figures and the figures were quite cool. Actually. They were they, right. yeah. They had bikes, they were like part cyborg, they had like things that go into their legs and yeah. stuff and like a bit like the data playmates figure. Yeah. Flaps that open. I think like um like when the turtles um you know, they exploded, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there was surf sharks as well. And surf, street sharks. Yeah, street sharks, street that's sharks, it. And, and there, um, were... there were other ones, weren't there? There, yeah. were, there were loads. Yes. So they were yes. coming out with all sorts of animals and, yeah, um, and yeah. things like that. I suppose so, biker mice yeah. is the next, uh, next obvious Yeah, that's what you think, you know. Step. You yeah, think yeah, of like yeah, yeah, teenage is. turtles and you go, biker mice uh, yeah. from Mars. Yeah. Biker mice from Mars. So I put some pictures up of them now because they were good. They were good figures, really. Uh, the little antennae used to go into the retract into their heads when you put their helmets on and stuff. Yeah. I remember that. But I like this guy. I wish I still had the rest of him, but I just had the mask, and that's that's it. That's all that's left of my biker mice yeah. and Mars figures. Yeah. So if anyone watching this video wants to send me a whole bunch of biker mice figures for free, I would, you know, object. PO box. Do that. PO box. I'll, I'll, I'll make a PO box. <laughs> Perfect. Bobby <laughs> Soul. So um, yeah, that kind of brings us to the end of our Galoob video then, really. Um, yeah. What happened What happened in the end? Galoob, as many companies, I'm guessing like in our series, we're going to start talking about Toy Biz somewhere along the line. Yeah, and yeah. And Kenna. Ha Hasbro bought them out. Kind of like a Disney sort of big conglomerate where like Hasbro just yeah. bought everything. You know, and um, they are no more. That makes, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. So there we go. Not even Micro Machines could save Galoob from their fate. Yeah. 
So there we go. You've been watching The Good, The Bad and The Ugly Show, reviewing the Galoob toy line. Now, join us again at some other point where we will do even more Don't toys. I mean, we have loads more to go through. We've got, we like, do. Hasbro, Mattel and... Um, toy Biz is uh, quite... Toy Biz. Toy Biz will be an interesting one, That mate. will be a fun one to do. Because that's think, one close yeah. to my heart, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Batman <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yes. I've been getting some that recently. <laughs> Um, what else do we have? Um, all kinds of things. We'll figure something out. But um, okay, thanks for watching this. If you've made it this far, then then well done. You're you're, you're brave. Yeah, uh, bigger men than we are. Yep. <laughs> yeah. um, so remember to uh, tune into the radio show. That's on Phonic FM every Thursday. And um, like, subscribe, and um, thumbs yep. up. Yeah, like, video. subscribe, and um, yeah, enjoy. We Goodbye. shall see you next to time. And farewell. Bye. Please like, share, and subscribe to the good, the bad. And the ugly show. Because there's no room left in hell. Are you ready to fight? Then step into the ring and take on Sting. There's me and my rival, the nature boy, Ric Flair. And there's a total package, Lex Luger, plus more WCW wrestlers with their own ring and cage. The only place for the ultimate grudge match. Sting, flying in the ring. Watch the bounce off the roof. Oh, no. Rick climbs the pole! Sting comes back with the body slam! The WCW wrestlers ring and cage, you put it together. Figure so separately from Galoo. I dare anybody to take us on! The Micro Machine Man here presenting the genuine original, colossally collectible, most midget miniature episodes of the real things. Micro Machines. Dramatically detailed, stupendously styled, smaller than enough, this one or this one. And now with a totally terrific town, the new Micro Machine Super City Two Box playset. Closed, it's a mild matter Two Box. Open, it's a Micro Machine USA. Cruise your mini Micro Machine vehicles, planes and boats to the police station, the marina, the mini motorcycle repair shop, the gas station, the construction office, work, the real working drawbridge, highway, passenger ramp, and garage doors. Or take a Micro Machine flying machine in for a landing. Phew, this place has it all. The new Micro Machine Super City Two Box playset from Galoo. The one and only outrageous original miniatures. Remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machines, it's not the. Someday I'm gonna be an acrobat. I'm gonna be in the Olympics. Golden Girl and a magical shield and sword. Together with Ruby, Shane, and Onyx. Ruby, the Dragon Queen, Wild One, and Voltora. Golden Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstone. Each sold separately. New from Galoob. They're the AT. You know they're soldiers of fortune. They're the AT. Helping people in need. You can pretend that you're Hannibal. Murdoch or Face or maybe B.A. Baracus. You know each one is an ace. Each is sold separately with rifle and gear. If there's trouble to face, you know the A-Team's here. They're the A-Team. The A-Team. Murdoch, Hannibal, Face, and B.A. Baracus. Each is sold separately by the loop. It's new for your kids. Laser lights. Laser lights. It's Black Star. Defender of right. He's ready to fight the evil overlord. Laser lights! The ice castle is a mysterious place. He might meet the lava lock face to face. Laser lights! Laser lights! It's Black Star! Yes, Just entered a new dimension of play. Star Trek The Next Generation. Action figures, phasers, space sets, and Enterprise. Their mission? To boldly go where no one has gone before. Go with them. Star Trek The Next Generation. A world of action and adventure now in your galaxy from Galoob.